All right, Kim. Mourners around the UK will have a final opportunity this week to pay respects to Queen Elizabeth II. Her coffin was moved to Edinburgh, where it will remain until Tuesday before moving to London. People from every corner of the world are honoring the late queen. Crowds of mourners gathered Monday in Edinburgh, Scotland, to pay their final respects to Queen Elizabeth II. Sort of a grandmother to us all. I mean, it's not just a loss of a monarch, or a, it's a loss of some, like a family member. People lined the streets to watch her coffin be moved from Holyrood House to St. Giles Cathedral, where she will lie until Tuesday. Her remains will then be taken to Buckingham Palace in London. Then on Wednesday, the Queen will lie in state at Westminster Hall until her funeral on the 19th. As crowds say goodbye to their beloved late queen, King Charles III addressed Parliament for the first time since becoming king, saying, quote, I am deeply grateful for the addresses of condolence by the House of Lords and the House of Commons, which so touchingly encompass what our late sovereign, my beloved mother, the queen, meant to all of us. Meanwhile, leaders from across the globe are paying tribute to the late Her Majesty. She's reigned for all seven Saudi kings since the mm. founding of the kingdom in 1932. So uh, it's a remarkable relationship. And the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, arriving at the residence of the British ambassador and signing the condolence book, a period of mourning rippling across the world. And just ahead on NBC Nightly News, live coverage from the United Kingdom, including a look at how the royals are unifying in their wake of their beloved grandmother's passing. I'm NBC's Molly Hunter. Today we are in London. We are across the river from Westminster, from the Houses of Parliament. Over the weekend, though, we went out to Windsor Castle, where thousands and thousands of people showed up to lay flowers, pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II, and they were treated to a surprise visit. Out of the same car came the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, all four of them together for the first time in years. We'll have so much more on that surprise visit coming up on Nightly News. And you'll also find out what the palace is asking the public to stop leaving at memorials for the Queen. It's all next at 6.30 as Nightly News has live coverage from Scotland and London. Back here, the Chief Justice of the Michigan Supreme Court says she's leaving the bench this year. Justice Bridget McCormick announced today she will retire after November 22nd, but before December 31st. McCormick has been on the state's high court since 2013. The 56-year-old was just re-elected to an eight-year term in 2020, so leaving six years early. McCormick part of the court's first Democratic majority since 2010. By leaving now, she will give Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer the chance to appoint a replacement.